Today, we want to see how to design a wedding flyer using a Android smartphone on the Pixel Lab application. So without wasting much of your time, let's go to our Pixel Lab application and get started. So the first thing we are going to do is to give this background. We are going to choose this other background, this layer layout. Then we go and set our image size. The width should be 1500 and the height should be 2100 so that you have this uh, layer. Now we are done with that. Let's start by preparing our background. So I got this uh, picture of a couple. So we are going to import the picture and uh, we crop it somewhere here. Then we bring it to the background expand it a little and push it up like that use your relative position button to centralize everything then we go and lock it up once you are done doing that go to shapes choose a square then you go to gradient now let's create a gradient uh, a gradient is a combination of two colors or more so we want to create a gradient using this plus bar here so you can see this uh, this plus bar here that is what we want to use so to create this gradient once you click the plus bar you see this other uh, column appearing so what happens here is this is a color and this is also a color so we have a white and uh, a black color that's a black and white so we start with the white we click on it make sure that it is highlighted then you come down here and click on this small color this uh, small icon this one that will lead you to manipulate the white so we click on it and uh, this color this option that you see me touching here it's uh, it determines the brightness of a color you see when i push it it becomes completely white and when I push it to the right it becomes purely red white completely white and this one determines the darkness of a color and this last one is the opacity so what we are going to do is to leave it to be white as it was then we touch the opacity option completely to the left it should be completely gone so that we have this now you can see that so we have but only one color here now this black color remaining so we hold this and pull it up a bit considerably once we are done with that we click ok then we have something like this ok good and uh, we use our relative position button again oh, relative position to put it to the center then we come to color we want to give the shape a color we click on color you have this then we want to use a color from the dress of the couple so what you do is just to click on this plus when you click on this plus bar then you click on this other small color picker icon up here that will enable you now to choose where you want to pick the color so we want to pick the color from this couple we want to pick the color from this cap yeah, this dark red uh, color from this cap so we click ok then we have this I hope you can see that and I, as I told you this is for the light the brightness of a color and this is for the darkness of a color so the color that we have chosen is um, this dark red color I have something like this good perfect so you click ok and you have that established now we'll go and we we'll lock it up as well then we go to our gallery to import more materials for this design I have this palm leaf PNG file so I click on it you minimize the size considerably minimize it and bring it here you can rotate it a bit so that it fits well to this angle okay so 
let's rotate it so you come to rotation you rotate it a little and you place it like that okay good then you also lock it up once you are done with that we have this occasion is uh, a photo studio is going to be the one responsible for all the pictures for this wedding so the photo uh, studio we have this icon for a photo studio I want us to use so let's go to our gallery and see yeah this one nope. okay good so we have this photo logo this is for a photoshop logo good so you place it here it's not visible so you come to the texture now you are going to learn how to add texture to images on your pixel lab so you click on this texture option then you come to this ring we choose this ring we are going to get a gold golden color from this ring you crop it to the point that you want to choose the color make sure that uh, it fits so well to the point that you want to extract your color so let's try this and see if it works okay good it worked so the icon the logo is now very much visible what we do is to centralize it as well it's in the middle now and we lock it up as well good we go again and import uh, this flower so I got this love flower together with the ring but we are not using the ring we just want but this flower here so we have this then you minimize you reduce the size considerably and use your relative to your position button to move it upwards uh, you can equally move it with your fingers then you come to size reduce the size to about six we just want something small and now you come to layer and you send it to the back of the palm front okay it should just be directly under the palm front then you copy it once you copy it you use position button and bring it here so you see the technique that we are going to do we are going to place it here to look as though it is a flower that the man is holding so when we are done with that you are going to see that effect okay good now you see it appears as though the man is holding a flower <laughs> of which it is not so that's how creative you can be with your smartphone now we are done with that we lock everything up lock it up lock it up once you are done locking it up you go to shapes we're going to choose this heart uh, shape here then we expand the width and uh, push it down like this so that we have a, a heart uh, shape or something like that then you reduce the opacity to zero but then you come to stroke and you give it a stroke width of uh, seven or thereabout then we make the color to be white I think the stroke width is much so we reduce it a little then we still pull it like this and pull it up because we are going to write something here so that's why we are arranging this just so that it fits well okay good so we are done with that uh, the next thing we have to do is to start writing so we are going to write save then we use 
a white color as well and we come to front my fonts I want to use uh, the Montserrat alternate semi bold this one Montserrat alternate so you reduce the size of this to about 25 okay then you pull it up such that the edge of the V it's meeting at the middle of that hat uh, shape so that it looks as though it is connected I hope you can see that effect good now we're going to write again there so we come to color make it white after making it white you come to font and give it this average sans regular font once you're done with that you bring it down we are trying to bring it down here like this then you reduce the size considerably reduce the size and then you can place it here to appear in the middle so I think let's increase the size of this so uh, let's push this day downward and see let's try something to see if it, if it can work so you come to save and increase the size of save a bit so that it can be visible to 30 it's okay it's fine remember that our trick make the v edge of the v to fall just directly below the edge of that heart uh, sign of that heart shape there so we are going to copy this and write date good once you are done writing date then you can bring it down here like this and we check everything is well plumbed today we are good to go and we're going to match everything including the shape we're going to select all of them select all once you select all you use this option here to match so we click on it to match everything now everything has been matched together we can reduce the size now then we position it well good to be like this save the date okay good now let's continue writing together with their families uh, okay let's just together with their families okay now let's put this color to be white we're going to be using the Montserrat font here very much often so let's try which one can go regular 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 let's see yeah I think it worked so we reduce the size considerably then we position it to the middle and pull it down a bit so together with their families now we write the name of the couples Clarice and uh, Divine okay good for, for color we are not going to give it a color we are going to give it a texture so you are also going to learn how to give a texture to a text so we click on this texture you click on it then you also click here again to enable you choose so we are going to choose that very golden color from this ring from this golden ring here so we're going to crop it control and crop to the point 
that you so much desire to get that golden color from. Some white edges are still showing, so let's crop it well. okay good once you are done with that then you come to font i'm going to use a particular script font here to make it good javacom so i think this one will work then you increase the size like this okay so let's let's reduce the size of this Again, we position it to the middle, push it up a little, then this one as well. So, together with their families, Clarice and Divine, we copy this and write. Kindly request your presence. At at the So we place this at their traditional wedding. So we put wedding in capital letters. Then we give it a white color. And uh, let's see which phone will go here. Let's use Monticerat semi bold. Good. Then you position it in the middle. Reduce the size. Come to line spacing. Space it out a little to 10. Then I hope you saw that to line spacing, we give it 10. To spacing, not line spacing, sorry, so that it's on spacing. So we can now position it to the middle and we come to style, we make it italic like this. Good. Now oh, it's so closed good now we go to our gallery and import a particular design this wedding nice wedding design then you rotate it like this reduce the size reduce oh my god what is happening okay good so after reducing the size, also bring it here and place it in the middle. Good. So we copy this and write schedule to take place. On the oh, 
just say schedule to take place as follows as follows schedule to take place as follows then we place it in the middle as well and then we write today so I'm just going to abbreviate this 9th uh, 7th January 2023 2023 so let's put So let's come to this shadow and make it a little bit highlighted. Let's give it a um, Monticerat medium so that it can really be quite different from the rest. So let's copy this. Saturday, 7 January 2023. So let's write. Um then we're going to reduce it like this. Then we copy this and write date. it for this color let's go and give it this bright yellow also reduce the size this is 20 and this should also be 20 so Okay, so we are going to do something very technical. Okay. Date. So we enable your grid. This one up here. This is your grid. Always use it as a ruler. So we enable it. Then we touch down here. In order to have everything kept on the same place so once we have that we can then use our position Okay, then we copy this date and write time. Time. So let's just bring everything down here. 
to use your position button to move them faster okay good so we copy this and write the time the time is nine zero zero am prompt Then we write, uh, we copy this. Let's, let's just copy this and write RSVP, Répondez s'il vous plaît. This is actually in French, so we we'll just have to use it. Then we can use our spacing to space them out considerably. And position it here in the middle. Then we go to shapes. Uh, okay, let's put the location first. Okay, where is this? So let's put the location. And for location, we're going to copy this and write. City, town, hall. Amanda Cameroon so this is actually the location uh, it's too long so we can just abbreviate our Bamenda Bamenda City Town Hall Bamenda Cameroon okay and replace it like this reduce the size I place it like that good so we have that and the next thing we are going to do is to go to shapes choose a shape a square and bring it down here Okay, so we actually want to create but just a, a small line. Then we copy it as well. Use your position button to move them. Good. So we have that created. Then the next thing we are going to do is to push this Rapondesi will play a little upwards. So we have this. Then we are going to import some traditional elements. You can see I have a color knot and other. So we are going to start with this very big traditional calabash. We minimize the size considerably. Then we place it here like 
this okay let's please align it to the middle uh, it's actually in the middle already then we have other small calabash this ones so we reduce the size also and we push it down to be closer very much closer to this first calabash and there is some spacing we don't want that spacing then we can copy it use your relative tool to move it okay great we have that then we can go and import this love flower you can see i have all my elements arranged so that is how as a designer you have to keep your elements all intact so we have this uh, nice flower then you bring it here place it carefully then we have to copy it so send it to this other side okay what we are going to do now is to go to 3d rotate rotate along the y axis completely so that we have this so it's on 3d rotate and we'll rotate it to 180 degrees then we we bring it a little more closer like this good then we go to a gallery we have some stock image for color knots so marriage is all about color knots and you know this is a traditional wedding we require to put some color knots to make it spicy so let's reduce the size as well then we we'll bring it here and we're going to place it just in between the calabash Okay, perfect. I think these flowers are so big. So let's try sending them down. Yeah. Okay, great. So we are done with our design. This is how you can design a wedding flyer on your Android smartphone using your Pixel app. I hope we all learned something. See you some other time. God bless you.